Hi, I'm Liz Needham. Welcome to looking at probability and we're going to look at two-way tables and an example of those. So this data set here, we've got a sample of students and information about them. So we've got some information here about whether they are male or female and we've got some information here about whether they are right or left-handed. So you'll notice that there is a total column. Now if that's ever missing off in a question, you always need to add that on. Same with, there is a total row here. Again, you must have that, so if it's ever missing on a table, please add it. So the first thing we need to do is complete this table. So this comes down to some of the rules around probability tables. So when we have a table, one rule is that each row has to add up. So it means that these two numbers, the number of left-handed and right-handed females, has to add up to a total of 53. So if I have 46 right-handed females and a total of 53 females, then that tells me I must have 7 females who are left-handed, because 7 plus 46 equals 53. Then the next one, I know that I've got five males who are left-handed. Don't know how many right-handed males I've got, but it must add up to 48. So five plus something, sorry, five plus something equals 68. And in this case, it's going to be 63. Now, another way I could have done this was I could have looked at the, instead of looking across the column, the rows, and making them add up, I could have looked across the um, down the columns and made sure that the columns added up because that ha that is one of the rules with probability tables as well. Okay, so for example, I could have looked and said 46 plus 63 has to add up to 109 and 5 plus 7 has to add up to 12. So now I just need to find the overall total. So again, there's two ways. The 53 plus 68 has to add up to the t grand total and 12 plus 109 also has to add up to that same total. So if I add those up, that's going to give me 121. So there's our first step, is completing the table. Now let's have a look at a question. So what is the probability that a student selected at random? So this is saying a student selected at random. So this is saying from all of the different students. I'm not looking at any particular group of them. I'm just looking from any student. What is the chance that they were left-handed? Well, in total, I have 12 left-handed students. Seven are female, five are male. But altogether, there are 12 students who are left-handed. So the probability of being left-handed is 12 out of 121. And you can leave that in fraction form, or if you want to choose, change it to decimal, you can. Let's look at a different question here. What's the probability a student selected random was male given? Oh, now there's a big word I need to look out for. This is now dealing with a conditional probability. Okay, so as soon as you see that word given, I need you to think about conditional probability. So this is talking about a subgroup. So given that they were right-handed, okay, I know that they were right-handed. I've got the student in front of me and I know they're right-handed. So it must be one of that group of right-handed. So there are 109 students who are female, of, oh, sorry, that are right-handed, 46 of whom are female, 63 of whom are male. From that group, what is the probability that a student was male? So there are 63 males out of the 109 right-handed students. So I'd write that and say probability of being male given, that straight line up and down means given or conditional upon them being right-handed and that probability is 63 out of 109. Thanks very much for watching. You're welcome to go and see my website for more resources and videos.